and welcome to your Go Market update for today, Wednesday, the 27th of July, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news in what's proving to be an interesting 24 hours. Of course, US markets last night were very cautious before that interest rate decision tonight, and we had Walmart concerns after they offered a downgrade on expected earnings. Again, defensive stocks outperformed as they had done the previous day. Of course, we are in the midst of earnings season and we have US futures positive in Asia after tech earnings. Both Google and Microsoft were up in after hours trading. Now, this is interesting because neither of them matched expectations, but both offered relatively positive forward guidance. Asian indices are mixed. There was a negative start today, but we are seeing some buying coming in. ASX is up around 0.2%, but of course, we've got that CPI data out very soon. European futures are suggesting a positive open at this stage. Uh, in the FX market, the US dollar index saw chum recovery, of course, after yesterday drop into three-week lows. Uh, gold remains below key levels at 1735 after testing 1700 last week. And all is trading slightly weaker than it was yesterday, but still in a tight range, currently around a 104 on the Brent crude contract CFD. The VIX paused at around about three-month lows still trading just over that 24 level and copper's trading around 340 after a little bit of a bounce yesterday but really isn't doing much today in asia so far bitcoin as we suggested moved back into the range bit below 21 and a half thousand but paused yesterday so no buying appetite for cryptos just yet and of course we continue with the big earnings with facebook boeing rio and ford amongst many stocks reporting results of course the major event of the day is the fed interest rate decision with that 0.75 percent rate hike expected tonight but of course in between times we've got australian cpi us trade balance and durable goods all of interest just a quick chart of the day to have a look at that caught our eye this morning obviously we're going to be keeping an eye on the australian pairs subsequent to that cpi data but we're going to focus our energies on pls in the lithium space you can see it continues to push upwards towards this 260 level so we're trading at the highs we haven't seen since the end of may and looking still pretty good to move up to three dollars in the medium term which from here would be a very healthy 15 percent rise trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now